Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell to be notified for new videos that come. Um, today I have a fun project that is Maggie Holmes inspired because I have all of her digital kits. And so I've been making these little bags. Uh, if you look back a few videos uh, or so, you will find a DIY tutorial for coin envelopes. So this is kind of a riff off of that. And um, I got playing with some of my older supplies. I have things in there. Um, I have some gold. Um, well, let me just show you this gold mirror sort of flexible. It's not a real stiff card stock, but this is from Recollections at Michael's and you can get it in a, in a pack. And it works perfectly for these, um, opposed to like the thicker card gold foil card stock. So this is more gold scrap of paper, I guess, if, if you want to think about it that way. But um, And I'm making these fun little envelopes with these little uh, decorative edge tops and then just sort of collaging some Maggie Home stuff here I have about four and a half by four. Um, so I kind of cut one of those in half. So I decorated these two. So let me just show you this one really quickly. I had some Maggie Holmes flower ephemera. I just layered all of that. This is all digital uh, download. I stapled it all together. I put some lace on the side and then I just glued it on. And then I made this one out of the rest of that gold paper. I put some eyelash trim behind here. I layered some more ephemera. Uh, this I actually took a die because it was a big honking piece that was comes in the ephemera pack. Um, this turquoise foil card. But it was too big for this flower so I used a die. I used it like paper and just cut out a die from my stash and have that little bit there. Um, I have some of this trim from AliExpress. Uh, that I highly recommend. It's, you get like five yards or so for like a dollar or something. It's crazy and it's that fun pom-pom trim that actually she has in her new Willow Lane collection. So love, love, love it. Then I dove into vellum that I have had in my stash for a couple years now. And uh, to be honest, I don't use vellum very much. I don't know why. I just don't, sometimes just don't think of it. But, um, but this is a full size bag and we're going to make one of these today out of some vellum. So again, I just layered, this is a Prima Gold Doily, some more um, digital uh, Mary, Maggie Holmes. <laughs> and uh, this is actually an Alta New flower that I had in my stash that I just made up. And so I layered that on very roomy bag, six, oh, almost seven. So almost seven, just shy of seven by five. So seven by five, so a little bit bigger. So these are great to use in happy mail, flat mail, um, things like that. You could layer a couple of these together like this and make like a loaded envelope idea. I just thought of that. I think I'm going to do that. Okay. <laughs> this, this is eight and a half by 11. This is the top sheet vellum and it has all the colored vellums that it has. It's a little bit hard to see probably in the camera, but maybe you can see it like that. So it's got blue, green, yellow, purple, I think, and pink. And so I was just going to make one out of here. So you can you can make these any size. You can cut them in half and then do the same thing. You can cut little ones or you can cut just a little bit off and do the same thing. But um, anyway, I'm just going to show you the principle of it. Uh, very easy to do and then we can decorate it. So first things first, you need your bone folder. Um, and then you're just going to kind of, you, you do need a glue that will dry clear because we are using vellum. Uh, obviously you don't want to see that as much as possible there. All right, so you're just going to, just like my coin envelope, you're going to go ahead and layer that. Now my head's not right over the camera, so go wide as, as whatnot as you want. So this can be really roomy. And the vellum, if you get good quality vellum, it works really nicely. Before we move too much farther on, I have these old little GP UK success tools just decorative scissors there and I'm just going to go ahead and cut along the bottom and top. You don't have to do this. You can just leave it plain or you can use a different pattern of a decorative scissors. Okay and then I'm going to do the top. Maybe this will be the bottom. I don't know. Let's decide what color I want on top here. Okay so the bottom we're just going to turn up just a little bit Okay, just like that. You could also use plain vellum. You can emboss your vellum before you do this. Lots of things you could do. You can uh, 
heat emboss your vellum if you want to stamp on it. Uh, that would be pretty. I might do that. I'm thinking of all these things now. I'm like, I can't keep up with my thoughts <laughs> at the time. Um, all right, so once you do that, so we fold it in and then we fold it up. So we're not, and this is where it differs from the coin envelope. We're not going to fold down. We're just going to leave that up like that. Okay. Um, so we're going to unfold that. Okay. So you can see your square lines. And then we're just going to do the whole cutaway thing. If I'm going too fast for you, if you watch the coin envelope one, you can get that as well. But basically, we're just making a tab. That's all you want to think about that. Wrangle it here. It's a little stiffer than normal. Okay. okay, so that is what we have thus far. Okay, we're going to go ahead and just put a bead of glue right along there. You don't want to get too swishy because this is vellum and we can see through it. So, the more inconspicuous, the better. Go, I'm going to make two stripes. Normally I'd be like, wow, 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 but, <laughs> you know, okay. That squishes out a little bit. Just take that off, no biggie. Okay, and that's going to dry clear right now. You can see it a lot, but um, anyway, that is your envelope. Now it is just a matter of decorating and collaging. So uh, you can pick papers from your stash, cut apart. This is your chance to use up scraps. You can find like this green goes well with that. Just have fun layering. I don't know. I feel like that's the fun part of uh, we want a little bit bigger pieces since this is a big, um, big one here. I have a printout uh, from my files of this um, of the uh, carousel Maggie Holmes carousel. So I love a stapler. I don't know. Or you could sew these, um, but there's something. Um, I don't know, rustic and wonderful and easy and <laughs> cheap about uh, uh, just stapling. I know I like the texture of the metal, but you could sew that or whatever. Okay, I found a few things from my stash. I have this curly ribbon, edged ribbon from Really Reasonable Ribbon. I'm going to use my new Tonic Craft Studios kit number 12. I got this Midas Touch Gold, and I'm just going to kind of color it. And we pick up our gold accents of our flowers that way. Cut out some gold. So that's going to go on that when that's dry. I'm just going to go right across here with my glue. And womp that down. This has got a knobby weird thing from the packaging. I don't know if they were trying to say that's a glue dot. Uh, I don't know. So <laughs> we're just going to put some glue right on over that. Um, and again, we don't want to cover up our magical, so I'm going to go, all right, so we're just building, layering, so maybe we want to put that underneath there, squirt it out, of course then I do it and then it sticks to me and I ruin it. Okay, what a fun way to give happy mail, of course this idea is not, you know, it's not like it's discovered some new you know whatever but for me in my craft stash I got playing it was one of those things that was hard to sleep because I was like oh I want to make a million of these you ever have those moments where you're just like oh I just want to make a bunch and it was just quite addicting and uh, like I said a great way to use up your stuff which is what we're all trying to do right I think I'm gonna pop this up uh, dimensionals put a little bead of glue on there and I might need of my stylus here because it's very very roomy um, you fit lots of little goodies in here for gifts when you do swaps and things like that but uh, like I said a lot of fun and very easy to put my glue away before I dry it out um, but very easy to use up your stuff because that way we're not wasting we're using up our haul items because it's fun to haul but Sometimes we put stuff away and then we never see it again. Um, 
And then I urge you to pick up this gold Recollections Michaels. Um, it's in the cardstock aisle. So it's in the cardstock packs, um, even though it's not as stiff as their cardstock. So um, you can get that. Um, I think Dollar Tree has had that before, too. Um, but just to show you all the different things that you can do. I don't want to put it on there because I don't want to get my glue. Whatever. So hopefully that inspires you. i got to finish my pink one here. Your craft room, dig around through your little goodies and scraps and stuff and see what you can collage together. And use your vellum, use your use your stuff, make little envelopes and have fun giving gifts, especially with the Christmas season coming up and fall and teachers and all that good stuff. Thanks guys for joining me. Have a great day.